Hello, this is Dan and I'm down in the workshop and as I was packing up my grill uh, this year um, I just kind of came on to a, a little idea and I wanted to uh, give it a try. So I'm going to actually go through kind of the process that I used. Um, so you know we have these threads that appear to be Acme threads um, you know and this is just a propane cylinder from you know from my my gas grill and I just wanted like a protective cover over that um, and and uh, kind of maybe even an indicator of you know if it's a good tank or if it's an empty tank or whatever so uh, just kind of noodled around on that for a while and um, here's what I came up with so I came over to the computer and I wanted to do my own design so basically um, I designed this part and I'll go through kind of step by step. Originally just a, a ring. Then I actually drew in the um, thread feature. Uh, filled in one end. Put a little tab on it. Put a few fillets ar around it just to make it look a little bit more professional. And then finally put some text in there. So here's an example of the part. It's got the threaded end and then it's got empty on the tab and actually on both sides of the tab. So this was just kind of my simple part that I dreamed up um, when I was moving my grill. So simple, quite a simple straightforward thing. Then uh, once I saved this I actually went and I put it into Slice 3R uh, as the slicing program that I use and I, I printed two of them. Um, I can go through this in detail maybe in a different video but I got my slicer all set up real nice. Um, basically I can even do a little bit of a preview of the layers. So it's going to start on the bed of my printer and slowly build up and you can kind of see how that thread feature revolves around and I didn't know how well my printer was going to be able to handle that. In fact, I was a little worried about, about that. And then you can see it just putting the text in either side and finally done. Um, so I'm going to patch in a time lapse of the actual printing. And then I'll pick up the video and talk a little bit more about it after that. All right, thank you. Here's a time lapse of my 3D printer printing the two parts side by side. This whole process actually took about two and a half hours, so this is sped up really, really quick. All right, I'm back, and here are the parts after printing. Um, you actually do see the, the well, <laughs> there you go. Kind of see the text on there. There we go. Um, and I'm actually going to pull these right off, or pull this one right off. I'm not going to touch it with any file or or any other tool just gonna take a peek at it wow actually looks like it did a pretty darn nice job on those threads I'm gonna bring it straight over here and we'll see if it threads on so without doing any post work to this part it threads right on and actually huh, kinda lucked out that it snugs up right right with the text up so that's kind of a neat little dust cover and it illustrates what can be done with a 3D printer. Um, I am very impressed by that thread. That turned out rather nice. So yeah, without any additional work, that really turned out well. Let me check the other one. Yep, the other one is just as nice. I also, so this one obviously says empty on it, I also did a full. Now that didn't turn out very good, My I had my temperature wrong a little bit on that one. This one turned out real nice. I'll take that any day. So yeah, to be able to pull it right off the printer and have an, an empty and a full, um, I don't know, just a fun little example project that can you know, illustrate that a 3D printer can even print uh, functional threads 
Uh, these are Acme threads, uh, one and five sixteenths inch Acme thread, which is a really odd size. I actually had to go through and get right down to the equations. This is a machinery's handbook here. Had to get down to the equations to find out, you know, to actually draw that thread form. Um, and then I gave a little more clearance just in case because, um, you know, 3D printing isn't a perfect exact tolerance. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video.